Hi everyone, this is Mary. You're watching another little piece of my art. And today I'm going to do a haul for you. Uh, I've, um, I've got this stuff from, let's see, I've got some stuff from Timu, some stuff from Five Below, something from Five Below, uh, Pop Shelf, and the Dollar Tree. Um, okay, so let's start with Timu first. I did get get this stapler it um pops out like this and can go this way so you know when you have to staple something that um and you it's longer than you know this um so it's kind of like a long reach stapler but i think they just call it a craft stapler you can also use it this way i'm not sure why you would but you can um but miko move please but yeah I think this was about four or five dollars if you're interested um, if you want one let me know and I will um, find the link for you Miko quit so I did get that and I also got some more paint uh, this is the neon fluorescent solid watercolor it has no name so I was a little concerned because I told you I do love the DDD praise paints and uh, this is what I could find in neon. I didn't see any neon in the DVD praise. And I was like, uh, I don't know about this brand. And is it going to be awful? Um, but it's not. It's not awful at all. I will show you the colors. Because I swatched them. I actually did that in another video. But the footage is not. It's bad. So here's the colors. So you get 12 colors. I'm going to give you the uh, flashlight treatment here. So um, you can see that they're definitely neon, except for like, you know, the blue and the purple are very kind of like duds. The blue is never, I don't know why they keep including blues in neon pencils and paints because they never work. Blue just does not neon, but this color is amazing here. Um, I like all of them really. And I was glad to have the two greens because I'm still working in my ocean book because it is still summer. Although the stores will have you believe different with all the um, holiday stuff out. Uh, <laughs> and I was getting a little tired of the paints that I was using um, on the backgrounds. So I just wanted, you know, just some different, uh, even though I have greens and oranges and yellows in my other paint palette. Um... I let me see this one that I've been using because I don't really like this paint for paintings but I've been using it on backgrounds so I've used a lot of the um, this one and using a lot of the yellows and kind of these fluorescent -y colors these ones are all kind of too dark and through here I've used a couple of the blues but I have used that so yeah I just got the the Timu paints and I will be carrying on with my, um, <coughs> with my background. I also got from Timu, and now where is it? I don't see it anywhere. Oh no. I also got from Timu, um, a stamp set that is bubbles. So there, it's like two, two stamps came in it, and they're like angled different. So you can move them around and make bubbles on a page. So I thought that would be good on the coloring book because then I could use some of my uh, stays on ink and it'd be waterproof and everything. And um, I can, on some of the pictures that are pretty kind of sparse in the background, you know, where it's just like one main item, like a fish or something, I will use the bubble stamp. I can draw the bubbles, but this is way quicker and... The bubbles will all be uniform and uh yeah so i just decided to get that um i don't i really wonder where it is because like i said i made this video before um so i must have put them somewhere away after i showed you guys before <laughs> um at five below all i purchased was some glue some elmer's glue school glue this is the four ounce ones and they were a dollar um i haven't been in walmart so if 
they go down because schools are still starting at like different times here. Um, so, you know, the school supplies usually don't go on clearance until after all the schools have opened. Um, but if I find some at Walmart, I'll stock up even more because I like to use this glue. Really, this is kind of my favorite glue for all of my collaging stuff that I like to do. I just, I, I use glue sticks sometimes, but I feel like this really creates a stronger bond and uh, I just prefer it. And also I'm going to, I think I'm going to be doing something with paper mache. So with that, I will use a glue and water mixture and I'll need some. So I just picked these up since I happen to be there. Um, let's see. Oh, this is the paper for those watercolors. And I just wanted to show you that it says up here that you can use this for the paints are ideal for coloring books. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing some more backgrounds and seeing how they turn out with, with these. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, I also went to uh, Family, no, Dollar General. I went to Dollar General as well. Okay, so now from the pop shelf, I always look around in there, and we did find some amazing deals in there because they had 70% off of the summer things, and I got um like a beach bag that the bottom, the whole bottom of it is a uh, cooler. And I also got, have you guys ever seen those giant Jenga games with the really huge pieces? You know, I got my grandkids that for like $7. Um, got quite a few things from that sale. It was a really good sale. So Pop Shelf, Pop Shelf is the one, I'm telling you. I get a lot of stuff from there. My husband likes their candy and he takes it to work. But, um... There probably won't be a video from me next week because my son and his wife and their three babies are coming on Friday and they will be here through September 8th or 9th, some, somewhere in there, I think. So, um, yeah, you guys won't see me back till they're gone because they take up all of my time. <laughs> but at Pop Shelf, I always go in there and I look at their pens and if you want to see their pen selection... I have a short, it's my most recent short, and on it is the selection of pens at Pop Shelf. They do change them every now and then, um, add different ones and take some away. And when I went there to look, there wasn't, uh, like in the colors that I was looking for, there wasn't any that I didn't already have. I usually get one or two pens every time I go in there, but I did not get any pens. However, I was in the craft crafting aisle and I saw this glitter glue so this one has like this color is called lip gloss it's a pink glitter this one is crimson carrot and lemon and then this one has white gold black and platinum so these were on clearance as well, and they were buy one, get one free. So instead of being $5 each, they were um, $2.50 each. So I got them because, well, that's cheap for glitter glue, uh, unless you want to use the Dollar Tree ones. But there is nowhere close to me here in Florida that sells my um, stickles. I went with my friend last year to the Hobby Lobby because I was out of a certain color of stickles and we went there and they have no they don't even have an you know an open spot for it like they just do not carry it in the hobby lobby in uh, florida or in daytona beach and i used to get it all the time that's where i always bought it was hobby lobby when i lived in ohio and so i guess they're different i'll have to find the michaels i know we have one but i just don't know where it is but um you know, uh, stickles is usually, what is it, like $2.99 for one tube or something like that? And these were $2.50 for four. So I thought I would show you guys real quick how it looks on a page. I'm doing these pages where I'm um, trying to, I'm, I'm still doing that thing where I'm trying to do all of my whips to complete. I'm going to do another year of that. <laughs> Try to just not start new things. But I know I will because that's just what I do. But um, here's, here's what it looks like on a page. 
So I have the orangey colored one in the middle of the flowers. And then I have the black one in the middle of those flowers. So it's it's not bad. Um, it's a little thinner than stickles for sure. It's because stickles is just the best. It really is. But if you need glitter glue and you can't find it either or you don't want to pay the price, check out your pop shelf and see what they got going on. Because even for $5, you know, that's just, I mean, $1.25 a tube is pretty cheap. And here's the size of them in case you want to see that. So it's 0.74 fluid ounces. So there's that. I've been I used that one. Was that the one or was it this one? Maybe it was this one. But yeah, so I picked those up and um then let's see then we went to the dollar tree and i was working on where's that book <laughs> i was working on this picture right here i'm still working on it this is out of animal kingdom and i was totally paranoid that i was going to run out of the back ground marker which is one of those crafter square um, markers and these are not in the area where the other markers and pencils are these are in the like craft craft area you know where the um like cutters and sewing things and stuff like that is so it's a one aisle over or that's how it is in my store anyway so I went in there to, and I wanted to replace my pink one because I always have this one pink color from that marker. They did not have it. They did not have any pinks. They were sold out of pinks. But I picked up a blue for the first time ever. I've never gotten a blue marker from them. And these ones don't bleed through pages. So that's what's really nice about them. They're like magic, I'm telling you. So this is going to come in handy for my ocean book. I'm going to test because that paper is not good, but hopefully I'll be able to use it. So I love this, this color here. And then I got another gold one for my paranoia that I was going to run out <laughs> just in case. But I didn't. I finished the page or the background and I never ran out. So, But I still have another gold one to use. And I got a silver, which I've never had the silver before either. And these will be nice... Um, with the holidays coming up because I hope to do a page in a Christmas book this year. I've only got, I think I've only got Johanna Bassford's Christmas book left now, if I can think of it. Yeah, I think so. But I was wanting um, the Archie Christmas book because I have the Halloween one. I really like it. So I might get that. And then if I do, I'll have those colors there. Um, and I also picked up, I saw somebody ranting and raving, or not ranting, but raving about this, um, Crafter Square Canvas Pad, and you get 10 pages on, in here, 8 by 10, 10 sheets. So this is just, if you don't know, this is what's, um, when you have a canvas that you're going to paint on, and you know, that one is stretched over bars. These are the, that, the canvas, but it's just flat, it's just uh, flat sheets so you can paint on these and then put them behind glass in an 8x10 frame and um, they're usually a lot more expensive than $1.25 you can look those up and see for yourself um, but I just I saw them before but I didn't know about the quality and then I saw another creator talking about how great they were and she went back and cleaned her store out to get the rest of them so um, I still have some left over from when a friend bought me some for Christmas last year or the year before but you know it's one of those things that you can keep but um I do like to bust out my acrylics every now and then last year at this time or after my son went home I painted my friend whose birthday is September 14th I painted her for her birthday a um a little painting of like um the pumpkin patch kind of a painting so I do use this but now that I know I can get get it there I could use it more and feel like I won't you know, run out of what I already have. 
So I got that. I got these socks. Check out your Dollar Tree for all. They got all Disney socks. They have the Disney villains. They have um, the Disney princesses. They have Mickey Minnie. Just tons of them. I got these because I loved this color of green, which is not showing up at all in this lighting. Because um, this is Kermit. And th these are like acid green, neon green. So... Um, I wonder if my sh <laughs> my light will show it, but yeah, they are they are really really green, and I just thought they were so cute. So I just picked up this one pair, and then I got my son a pair of Marvel Spider Man socks for his birthday bag. His birthday is in October, so that's all I got from the Dollar Tree, and then I went into the Dollar General because I was looking for those super skinny uh it, big intensity fine liners those skinny skinny ones um that's the where i get them they come in like a five pack or maybe a six pack or something like that but i have used mine all up because i use them all the time to line my drawings and sketches and stuff afterwards so i was like well i have got to get some more of those because uh inktober is coming up and they do release the inktober lists earlier and earlier or so it seems so you could get started on it you know and I went in there and I couldn't believe it because now they have replaced them and the only ones they sell now anymore are the colored ones so you get like a blue a pink and a purple I think for the big intensity super skinny uh, liners so yeah now I'm gonna have to get them somewhere else great but I was perusing around and I did just, I picked up a Micron pen because I needed something because I'm running all my, uh, I must have bought like all my liners at the same time or close to the same time because I'm out of my Faber-Castell ones, the pit pen liners, and I'm also out of most of my Microns and I had colored ones and different ones. And so I just got this 108 nib one and I'll pick up you know some as I go but for that day that was that was good enough so I got that and I noticed they were having a sale so these Papermate Inkjoy ballpoint pens were two dollars and I love me some Inkjoy pens they are so smooth and they write so nice and um I've been following this guy on TikTok his name is Bodog B-O-W-D-O-G and he does all his uh, portraits and stuff in ink pen which I just love that so much because you just don't see that often you know um, I just love the way that you can manipulate the ink to look different make textures and stuff it's just I don't know it's kind of a lost art I think but um so yeah I picked me up a fresh pack because most of mine are very old and the whatever's left is you know down to the end so yeah, I grabbed those, and then I noticed they had a section for jelly rolls. I was like, what? So I picked up these. These are jelly roll retractables, and this is a Stardust glittering colors. So let's pop this open and check it out. We'll do a swatch for you. Uh, let's see. Um... I'll have to show you how I set up my pencil case and put my jelly rolls and all my favorite things in my one really big pencil case. So here's how they look and they have the glitter built into the cap so that you know that it's the stardust ones. And I you know, I could, couldn't really tell much about the colors. Like you can see that it's a blue and a dark color and then like a reddish tone. So let's see what they look like. Oh, I knew it was retractable and I was still trying to pull that off. Okay, now I got to take a little tip off of the top there. And let's see. Ooh. Oh, I love this one. Look at that color. Oh, I know lighting is bad, but it's like a raspberry color. Reminds me of my razor phone that I used to have. I still have it because I couldn't bear to throw it away, but <laughs> it doesn't work anymore. I heard those are back out again. 
Oops, I forgot to take the tip off. I love that phone. There's no greater satisfaction than hanging up on somebody with a flip phone and you can just slam it shut. <laughs> uh, okay, this one is like a purple. It's like a, it's purple, but it's not offensive purple. It's like a wine colored purple. So I like that. It's pretty, they're so glittery. And then last but not least, let me take the tip off. We have this bluish shade. Very pretty. These are like mermaid colors. I love them. Gorgeous. Yeah, the the um the jelly rolls that I have that are metal or like are they metallic or well, I'm going to show you my, I'm going to show you my pencil case now because we're here anyway. This is my giant pencil case. She or he is a big boy or girl. Um, I think in here I just have, oh, in here I have my Karen Dash fiber tip pens. Um, you can... These are water-based, so you can make these into uh, watercolors. These bleed so badly, though. So badly, so, you know, you can only use those on certain papers and books. So, let's see what we got. Okay, over here, I've got some... I've got some of my um, Koh-i-Noor Tritone pencils, and I've got my Erosia Tins, some of them some more erosion tins over here and then what i did was i took because i have the macaron set of the brut brut frune funer bleh, you know these um colored pencils but i don't really use them but i took out the um ones that could potentially be used for you know lips or skin and I kept them in here because I can use them with these. And, yeah. Um, I also have my Tombow ABT uh, brush pens in there. Um, I have some distress markers. I had to go through those. So here's what I was talking about that I was looking for in the... Uh, Dollar General is the Bic Intensity Fine. These tips are so tiny and I love these pens. Um, but I want, I already have the pack with the colors, so I was wanting some, uh, some more black ones. Um, and over here we have all of my Faber Castell Pit pens, more of the Bic Fine Liners. Over here, we have my uh, Crazy Pop gel pens. So, yeah, that's why I'm trying to go through all of the gel pens that I got from my brother for Christmas a couple, three years ago. Because those ones are from uh, Michael's. And there's nothing wrong with that. But, I mean, I just, I have ones that I like and I would, would like to use. Um, but I just feel like I should use up something before I start something else. <laughs> I have used these a couple times, but I just want to, I just want to get those. So I'm really, I'm really getting it down, whittling it down. Cause I just, every time I'm going to color something, I don't know what to use. I just get those gel pens out and it's just, it's going quick. Uh, so we have the rest of the koh -Nors. We have, um, these are koh -Nor Poly colors, really nice pencils there as well. Um, these are my babies, the magic pencils. I have these in here. I have more stuff in my pencil case that I keep by my bed. You know, that's like the one that I want right near me because I use that stuff so frequently. So I think I probably have another one of these in there, maybe. Um, and then we have the we have the Lyra 
skin tone set here. Those are also nice. A little hard to blend. Um, some more poly color. And here's my other jelly rolls. Now these ones, these are the metallic. So there's a difference between the metallic and the star, the stardust. I will show you because you just saw me swatch that, right? And you can see how shiny it is and everything. The metallic ones are not like that. They're not at all. They have like, um, let's see if you can see better there. They just don't, I don't find them dazzling or anything. You know what I mean? Like they dry down to like a, a there's a shine to it, but it's not, it's just, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I've had them a long time and I really just don't ever find myself pulling for them. But I put them in here thinking that, you know, there's quite a bit left in, in there. Um, I really love the glaze pens. They're my favorite. The black glaze pen. I would love to buy a pack of just all black glaze pens. And I looked for those in Hobby Lobby and they do not sell them that way. I wish they would because they would have a permanent customer out of me because I love outlining things in the black glaze pen because it just you know it raises up it's 3d and it it just what a wow factor in my opinion so i have all of those jelly different jelly rolls there and then i have these jelly rolls over here so we've got um i've got jelly rolls i have never seen other people have like this no not that one these so these ones here, I've had these for a long time. These ones here, when you color with them, so you think you're getting pink, right? This pinky color. Ooh, that's a pretty color, you think? But no, when you color with it, it's pink at first. And then as it dries, it turns to gold. Which is cool and everything, but like, why would I need different colors if they're all going to turn to gold? So, yeah, um, you can see it's doing it, starting to do it here. It's turning. I don't know why that's not turning, but there it goes. You see it? As it dries, it just turns to gold. And the drier it gets, like, the less you can see the pink. So, like, I have several of those, and <laughs> it's like, hmm... But yeah, these are these are what all I have: the glaze and moonlight. Um, this is a moonlight in purple. So this is what I like about Pop Shelf because you can buy glaze pens or not glaze pens, but uh, jelly rolls. You can buy those sold separately. This one is needs a good smack. let me see if I can get it to go if you have trouble with your uh, jelly rolls not working try running it under hot water really hot water because these tips get clogged quite easily but yeah this is like a lavender color my lighting is so bad. I apologize. After the kids go home, we were talking about doing some different rearranging of the house and stuff. But I have got to figure out um, another solution for my art area because I can't see anything in here. Please ignore the dog hair. It's everywhere. And then here over here on this side are all of my ink tents pencils. So these are the things, my favorite things, and the things that I want to want to use the most. So because of that factor, I'm trying to go through some of my other things, like my Crayola uh, markers. I try to I try to use those whenever I can so that I can be done with them because I have had my super tips for years. I mean, I'm talking since before 
I started my channel and my channel anniversary is coming up. That reminds me, my channel anniversary is coming up September the 1st, but my kids will be here. So when they go, I will do a giveaway. And I'm going to purchase a brand new book um, and give that away. And I'm going to include inside the book some loose pages that I have been re removing from my books. I, I know I told you guys I was going to do packets, but the thing was, I was trying to figure out how to send them without them getting bent. Um, I know you could use cardboard, but it's like, we just like when we, you know, we didn't have any and then it was just like always the wrong time or whatever. So I thought, oh, I know I'll, I'll do a giveaway and buy a brand new book and then put some pages, some loose pages inside the cover of the book. And then you'd have best of both worlds. So make sure you check back, um, after the first week of September to my channel to see, about the giveaway and um yeah that's all i got for you guys i don't want to keep you too long because i know i've been getting awfully windy lately so <laughs> all right you guys i'll let you go and i want you to have a great week and a great labor day holiday and i will see you back here as soon as possible talk to you later bye